Alright, what's up everybody? This is Toucan here, and welcome to Smashed Out here in New Rochelle. I believe we're on number 92 right now. Yes, Smashed Out number 92. And we're coming off fresh from Defend the North. Unfortunately, I could not make it. It was an awesome event, and I missed it. I'm so sad, but I was spending the whole weekend in Rhode Island with my best buds from Westcon. Shout out to the Westcon Smash crew, because you guys are amazing. And there's no one, and if I had to miss a tournament, I would do I would do it with you guys, and I would definitely do it again. And you got, anyway, um, we got a um, big show for you guys tonight. Um, it looks like my mic is a little bit uh, loose right now. Let me adjust it. All right. Yeah, my mic keeps falling down for some reason. Oh, let me adjust it up. Okay, that does it. All right, so we got Big Buffalo and Red Jacks, winner's quarters, going to Battlefield, game number one. Big Buffalo going as Trademark Fox, and Red Jacks is sticking with the Marth. Okay, uh, let's move these water bottles out of the way. Oh, Big Buffalo with an untimely SD. It was two water bottles in front of my screen. I couldn't see the per uh, Big Buffalo's percent. Um, but Red Jacks is off to an early lead thanks to that SD. But it looks like Big Buffalo is caught up in terms of percent. All right, uh, and he gets back. Very nice recovery from Red Jax. Good counter to get back on. We don't really see that too often from Marfs. All right, falling up there will take it. Big Buffalo on the board. Only 42% separating these two. It's still very early in this set and in this game, too. Oh, gets the reverse hit of the dash attack. I don't think he wanted that. There's so many better options you could have done. You could have did dare. He could have done dare. I don't like that edge guard, to be perfectly honest. Oh, that one's mine. That one's mine. All right, Marge almost took my water bottle. All right. Uh oh, bad spot for Big Buffalo, and he SDs again. So both of the uh, both of uh, these uh, Big Buffalo stocks were taken via SD. Here comes the chain grabs from Regex though. And the, he continues with the up air, attacked on 58% from that, and it's climbing. Good stalling in the air to avoid the forward smash. Up smash will not take it just yet, but that up air will. And Big Buffalo sitting at the magical percent right now. Let's see if uh, Red Jacks can break the neutral. All right, he does with the nair. Oh, that preemptive forward smash, not gonna catch the, uh, the side B. Goes for another grab, but misses. Oh, the Nair's gonna miss. Good Nair to get him off stage, and another SD from Big Buffalo. I'm pretty sure he didn't want the side B. Not looking too hot right now. Uh, he's on his last stop for this game. Here come the up airs, though. Not gonna take it, but um, Red Jax is at pretty much a kill percent right now. Another up throw up air will take it, especially at this percent now. Down smash, that's gonna take the stock. All right, last stock, pretty even game. And this is best two out of three right now. We're still at that, um, we're still pretty early in the tournament right now, despite it being winner's course. Not too many people showed up, but uh, that's, because, that's pretty much because uh, Defend the North just ended yesterday. People are still recovering. I myself, like I said, didn't go, so I'm all game. I played a little bit of Melee over the weekend, mostly Ultimate, but I played a little bit of Melee. Unfortunately, I didn't get that many good games in against some um, really strong players. But it's whatever. Up smash. This is all, this is very close right now. Anyone can take it. That up here does not connect. Okay. It all comes down to who can win neutral. He's back on stage. Four shots is going to miss. Here comes the shine. Shields the up smash. Not going to get the punish though. Good up here to come back on stage. Oh, that was a very risky option. All right, we're seeing Marthritis in action right now. Gets back on. He gets the forward smash. Big Buffalo not happy about that first game. Regex just squeaks out game number one. Very close first game. I think this is going to be a really good set, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see. Regex taking a huge sip of water or whatever liquid is in that um, thermos. I'm assuming it's water. I don't know. The early tournament vodka. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one way to cool calm your nerves. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, when I think thermoses, I usually just think of tea, because I usually usually bring a thermos full of tea to work in the morning. But um, usually at tournaments like these, you have a nice bottle of water, which I have right now. Remember, kids, hydration is important. 
Even when you're mashing buttons, you need to stay hydrated. Game number two, we're going to Yoshi's Story. This is a good stage for both of these characters, to be perfectly honest. I think it favors, Fo uh, not Fox, uh, Marth a little bit more in this matchup, just because um, the sword and small, a smaller space, but Big Buffalo taking that first stock very quick with the shine. Regic's doing a very good job waiting out his options right now. Oh, he's off stage. Right now, the counter pick is going in Buff Big Buffalo's favor. Goes with the greedy four smash. I kind of don't agree with that. Even with Tipper, I don't think that would have killed unless Big Buffalo had horrible DI. Which I guess was what, what he was going for. Oh, the trade goes for Randall. He's on the cloud. Nair, the side B is going to clip through the Nair. Double up air. That's going to take it at 73%. Regic's not happy about that. That's an early, uh, he hits an early second stock. Is Regex chewing on his, uh, earphones? What the hell is he chewing on? I don't know. People make a lot of fun- People make fun of me for the faces I make in the- In the, uh, the player cam. It's because I get very intense, guys. That's why. You gotta take things seriously. I do. Um, so, and it looks like- Oh, Regex is not happy about this. This is, this is a potential four-stock for Big Buffalo. Down tilt will not connect, but that four smash will. So, no four stock. Um, this is still looking a good. Oh my God! The counter. He countered the shine, and I, I didn't see it. I, I, he may have turned around, and he may have cl clipped Fox while he was invincible. Because I know there is some free freeze frames. That is a solid three stock from Big Buffalo. All right, he's looking a lot more happy about that one than the last game. He put. Oh yeah, he's smiling. He's like, yeah, yeah. That first game was a fucking fluke. Oh, excuse my language, guys. Um. So it's all about where uh, Regex wants to take uh, Big Buffalo Game 3. Um, I think Big Buffalo's going to ban FD. I would go to FD if I were Regex, but Big Buffalo's probably going to ban FD. So um, then now it's a tricky... It's it's very tough for Regex. All right, he's going to change... He's looking at his phone right now. He's probably changing his music right now. He doesn't listen to his music. He chooses music. <laughs> I guess you could say he's choosing his music. <laughs> yes. Oh I, had, oh, I thought it. I love that pun. Oh, my God. Yeah, you guys are going to get some puns while I'm on here. Not as much as good old Chucka Conroy, but um, you'll get some puns. Yeah, shout out to Chucka Conroy. He's my favorite Let's player. Don't think he watches a uh, competitive melee, but if he does, shout out to Chucka Conroy. Um... <sighs> So it looks like Regex is real. Well, he's he's really just he's really putting a lot of thought into what he's going to choose, both his music and the stage, because this is a critical game three coming up right now. Um, he's con trying to concentrate, taking a sip of water. He's prolonging this a lot. There should be, a, you know, I know I stall a little bit what I'm thinking, but that's usually because I'm thinking about what stage to go. It's not to, to ice the opponent out, because I know that's a strategy some people might try and do. I mean, we see it in other competitive sports, like with football and stuff like that. They try to ice the kicker and stuff. Um, yeah, sports parallels can definitely go along with eSports. Alright, so it looks like we're going to uh, Founded Dreams for game number three. Here comes a chain grab. s match is going to miss. I really don't agree with that. I would have gone for up tilt. All right, good up B to get back to the ledge. The shine, and he's dead. Another quick stop for Big Buffalo. He's up by one. Only at 17% too. Ooh, this is not looking good for Regex. He gets clipped by the shine. Oh, and he bites his hand. Oh, he is not happy about that. Big Buffalo is completely untouched that stock. That was a quick zero to death. That was very nice. All right, he's got an edge guarding um, chance, but he gets the wrong hit of back air. All right, good waiting out the down, a uh, good double jump to bait out the the uh, down smash right there. Good grab, net yeah, neutral air. Good back air, that should be the stock. All right, he's down one stock now. Still in a very bad position right now. Oh, even worse position. That's another stock. Oh, Regex is on his tw his uh, winner stock life. He's not. He, I think he just cursed right now. We got a little salt going on. Yeah, I would be mad if I was Regex right now, too, because he took a very close game one, and that's it. He just SDs. The frustration is real, and he just 
Storms off. That's the stuff you do not want to see. All right, we got Big Buffalo hopping on. Big Buffalo, that you really turned it up those last two games. Um, yeah, it was a that was a very close game one. I could tell you weren't happy about that, but then the salt uh, just shifted from you to him uh, right there. Yeah, I don't know. I was very rusty game one. I, I was just mad about the way I was playing game one. Yeah, but you definitely yeah. made up for it. Nah, the, against Marts that happens. I I get or like any any set. I just start. I play like little little. I play bad and then I just turn it up. Mm. I was just thinking. I'm like, okay, let me be more patient. And that's what I did. Yeah, that you, you, you could tell just the way I was playing. Yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a good example of adapting. Yeah, that's something that I could tell. You just wants me to invite the legend grab me, so I was being a little safer about that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I, and then I, 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 I just messed up game when I SD like two, three times, and I was like, it's okay. And I, and I knew since I almost beat him game one with two, three SDs, I'm like, okay, I could win this if I don't SD. So that's what. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely know what you mean right there. So up next, Jayla or con or con Gus. versus me. So it's definitely going to be me against one of these two lucky opponents. One, one of those goons, right? One of those goons. <laughs> one of those hooligans. Yeah. Oi, what are you doing with my stuff, you hooligan? Yeah. <laughs> No, I feel bad. He Red Jack was kind of frustrated. He said yeah. he wasn't playing well. I was like, yeah, no. Yeah, I believe it. Like that. That's really tough. You get you in a very close game mm -hmm. one, and yeah, then, and then you only, just, and then you just get wrecked the next two games. Yeah. Like that, you could tell that he was just losing composure. That's yeah. that's one of the hardest things about um esports in general. Like I, if you're frustrated. Um, I mean, I was frustrated after game one, but I kind of I kind of like you know brought it back. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Melee is a momentum game in terms of emotion. Too. Oh, dude, I was feeling that after game two. I was like, okay, I can win this now. All right. I was feeling it. Was I just calling her? I don't no, you're good. Okay, so we can talk for a little bit. Uh, yeah. Shout-outs to them setting up the uh, commentator camp for this. I've only seen them use this at Ultimate events, and now we got it for Melee, yeah. so shout-outs. Yeah, also, shout-outs to possible embarrassing moments for the commentators. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I got a nice... <laughs> that was the first thing <laughs> I thought of. Ryan, look at these muscles. Well, about <laughs> these muscles. If you want muscles <laughs> like these... Yeah. Or uh, these. Yeah. Well, I'm wearing a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from coming from this many workouts, zero. Yeah, me too. Well, I, I, I mean, I work with my dad, and, you know, it's, we sell produce and plants. I, we do a lot of lifting, you know. Yeah, that gets you, yeah. That gets you in shape. You got to lift boxes of, boxes of peaches and whatever and, mm -hmm. and big, uh, big uh, containers of plants for people. Mm. I got good tips too. People give me they give me the one first gave me a twenty dollar tip today. Damn, that's pretty good, dude. And good I was just stuff. I wasn't I just carried six, like five eggs of mulch. I got a twenty dollar tip. It always feels mm. great when you get tipped. Oh for look, doing that's a five that's minute look, job. that's Ryan over there. <laughs> I see. Yes, yeah, it's the whole uh, encore crew right there. It's the it's the short, muscular guy in the middle, right, Ryan? <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, here's our schedule for the um, upcoming month of August. We got um, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition and Tekken 7 on the 10th. We got uh, all Ultima Smash Down for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the 17th. Mortal Kombat 11, uh, 11 on the uh, 24th. And finally, we're wrapping up at, wrapping it up at the end of the month with mm. Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Smash Out number 10. Oh, it's there smashed it, out. Okay. Yeah, just to let you know, guys, there is no monthly for Melee this we this month because uh, we just had to fend the North, so everyone's trying to cool down a little bit. I mean, we barely got um, entrance today. Yeah, we barely got entrance today. Everyone was rushing around. Uh, Shoutouts to uh, the Encore crew, by the way, for making the stream setup happen last minute because uh, they're awesome. Yeah. I, I, I shout out to Barry too. He's probably I last saw him on Facebook. Ryan, he was Ryan like, said uh, it, Ryan said he's tired. I I imagine he's sleeping right now. And he's probably he's probably watching us talk. He's like, oh my god, I love these guys. Yeah, love you too, Barry. <laughs> You're awesome. He is. Yeah, he he ran. They ran defend the North stream. Uh, I wish I could have managed to defend the North. I really yeah. did. I yeah. mean, it was, I had a good substitute. I was um, in Rhode Island the yeah. week for the weekend hanging out with I've some been, I've friends. been working. I'm going, I'm, this, this week, I'm actually going on a little vacation. Not vacation, just for the day. I'm, I'm going fishing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, going fishing. My dad, going? my brother, a couple Where of friends going? on the Long Island Sound. Oh, that's a good spot. That's yeah. a good spot. You're catching a fluke. You know what yeah, no, those are? A flounder. Yeah, the flounder. Ooh, the, yeah. that's a little, the little flat fish there the flat on the fish. ground. There you yeah, go. that's pretty cool. I think we go sometimes during the summer. Mm. Yeah, that was good. Uh, oh, we got smashed every week. Doubles, which we usually can't do because no one shows up at 6.30. Yeah. We show up at 7.30. Oh, 
<laughs> Actually, uh, and I didn't notice, but it's eight dollars venue and seven dollars bracket. That's kind of whack. But yeah, it's okay. I always thought it was like ten dollars <laughs> venue and five dollars bracket, yeah. but you know, the the encore guys they know what they're doing. They're like, okay, we're gonna charge you a good amount to keep the lights on, and then keep charge you a good amount so you have a good price pool. The best of both worlds. It's not bad for venue. You could stay here all day. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I feel like Tim. Feel like Tim. And Tim and Jailer have ha had a heated set. It's still it's pretty long. Yeah, I'm, I actually can see in the corner right now. It's uh, I can't see the stock. Well, it's, count. At, it's at Dreamland, so this must be Tim's pick. Has to be Tim's pick. All right. Probably should be. I, I think it is Tim's. I pick. also love how JLO is going pink Yoshi against uh, Puff. Yeah. Well, either way, I think you have an easier time being JLO to be honest. Yeah, I I rather go up against a Yoshi than a Puff. No, I mean, it's Tim Tim Tim's a. Uh, he's inconsistent. He got third one time here, and he got ninth the other time. So he placed third being me and you, right? Mm -hmm. Then next week, I went all random. I placed ninth, and he placed ninth, too. Mm. I went all random. Isn't that disgusting? Yeah, that is <laughs> pretty <kidding>. disgusting. <laughs> no, he's, he, I think he's playing good. He's been beating me in friendlies a bit because I, I just I can't play Puff in friendlies. I got to get in the zone. Mm. Like, like, would you re would you play Puff like well in friendlies? No, you would probably just no. fuck, mess around to see what you can do. Yeah, I'm a little bit more loose in friendlies. I mean, I go serious in friendlies, but I'm a little bit more mm. loose. Um, all right. Uh, oh, all right. looks like I got to play Tim. All right. Oh, so boy. He beat be Jello. Yeah, it looks like you did. All right, All right. wish me luck. All right, you oh, got this. Oh, give me strength. Just uh, if you need to, just camp him. Here we are. <laughs> It'd be okay. Thank you. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'll stay on, I guess. Oh, man. All right, Tim beat JLO. Good for him. Good for him. Is, oh, Tim's going to the bathroom again. <laughs> wi Fi's still not working. <laughs> Great. Dude, wh why, can I, why can I get the seed? Why can I play Toucan in winter semis? Just waiting for Tim as usual. For anyone watching, I have I have to win this tournament in order to get unbanned on a stream. So we'll see. You know that, right, Ryan? I have to. My friends told me I if I win a tournament, I get unbanned <laughs> on a stream or something. Isn't that funny? I'm not winning the tournament. Are you crazy? Peacecraft is here. He got fifth to defend the North. Eh, I'll try. Probably gonna get third at best or something. Cause maybe four, because I'm fourth seed, right? <laughs> nah, try. That seven regex was a close one, though. <laughs> I would, you, could, you could tell I was so pissed. <laughs> I was pulling a toucan. <laughs> you could say. Where's your where's your boy Zalos? Oh, okay. Usually helps out, doesn't it? Yeah. Toucan or Tim isn't aren't here yet. Yeah, we should probably DQ him as soon as we can. <laughs> Alright, there's Toucan. He's wearing his Kirby shirt, an icy shirt. I don't know who should I root for. Mm. Honestly, if Tim beats me. He's just gonna he's gonna be he's gonna be a jerk on the way home. So <laughs> I mean I don't know. We'll see. I'm here to win. I'm here to win this tournament, guys. Though I got this. I, I think I got this. Honestly, I can't read the chat. But what's up, chat? I know the, I know the boys are in there. Tim, no camping. Nope, nope. Wait, Tim. Tim. Tim, no camping. We gotta go home. 
No, we gotta go home at like a reasonable time, buddy. They, this is a 40 minute set I'm leaving, <laughs> telling you, man. Wait, who won between Dermot and Waz? Dermot did, right? Yeah. Oh, Waz did? Fine. <laughs> Dermot's, that's why Dermot's tag shitter, I guess. <laughs> Going to Fan of Dreams? All right, I'm ready for this three minute set. I'm ready. ready? I'm taking a puff. Go. All right, here we go. I don't know who I'm going to root for, honestly. Tim has the easy path and plays Toucan. I got to play peace crap in the semis, like, come on, man. Maybe I can win, I don't know. If Toucan wins and I win, that'd be so cool, because me and Toucan winners finals. That's a dream. Ryan knows it's a dream. <laughs> Alright, here's a wobble. What's up, Tim? He's waving to me. He needs the. Oh, uh, maybe go. If things don't work out, go Fox, spam Shine. That's what I'm thinking. Go Fox and do the Carl Classic. It would t It's quicker, and then you would win. Intending to get better as Nana execution. Yeah, that's good. Now, now we gotta give it. Constrain and Nana. You, really, it's way better. That pound wasn't saved, but that's okay. All right. All right, that's it. Yep. Two can zone right now. Tell him I'm gonna lose a fuck. I'm gonna lose a freaking Tim and losers. Cause he's he's gonna beat someone and losers. I'm gonna beat someone losers. And I play Tim on stream, losers semis. I'm gonna lose. That's what he did. Blizzard. Nice. This should be evened up. Tim can't. This should be even. Tim kill kill Sobo. Without taking too much percent. Yeah, there you go. I missed. Yeah, that's it. Probably. No. Nice ledge dodge. Oh. Alright. One more back air, I guess. No. Rest. No. No. <laughs> Grab the ledge. Alright, that's fine. Nice drift. Me and Ryan are watching like saying, when is this gonna be over? <laughs> hey, he's, he's asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's a wobble. Three wobbles. I, I, I hope he does the A button thing, like I did. Oh, that was nice. That's a classic Timmy. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. <laughs> you should have made me down throw a Nana fair into grab. That was worth. Oh, that's it. Four wobbles. It's four. Damn. Fox and Shine, I think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Go Fox and Shine. This Fox was doing fire against me, so. Oh, platform. We got a kill. Nice. Yeah, it's three to five. We're gonna see a Dream Landing game? You know, Battlefield, okay. Alright, fifth wobble. <laughs> yeah, he didn't he didn't take any stock without wobbling, you know that, right? I mean I told him to go Fox and Shine. Oh, that's it. Oh, he's doing the thing. I'm the only person that can beat Toucan. I'm, I'm, your, I'm the savior. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Six wobbles. Six wobbles and counting. If Toucan wins, it might be better for my bracket, depending. <laughs> Actually, no, I might play Tim and Losers. Here's what I want to do, Ryan. I want to play Toucan. I want to play Toucan, not Tim. 
Tim, Tim can't beat many people, but he can beat me. All right, that's it. No, yeah, one more time. One back here. Yeah, one more. Oh, God. He's going high. Yeah, he's going high again. Okay. Pole ledge. That's it. Yeah. I know the perception of Icy Side B. Because they call me the Icy Slayer where I live. Yeah, I think 2K got this game, but Tim has made co good comebacks before. Is he going to wobble him again? We've got six wobbles so far. Why are you starting to camp now? He's down in stock. Oh! Seven! Seven! <laughs> He's not gonna rest. All right, just, just keep on kill Nana. Just take take care of Nana. Yeah, take care of her. Grab. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, she's not dead. That was nice. Oh man. I don't have anything to say anymore. <laughs> nice. All right. He's stuck. <laughs> is he gonna get wobbled for the eighth time? I think. I think he is. Wobble for the eighth time for the win. No. Oh, he didn't, he didn't wobble him. Woo. He didn't wobble him. He should do Fox. I advise the Fox, but it's okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, you can't camp. The icicles. It's too late to camp now. He's down too <laughs> well. He can, but it's gonna be hard. All right, we're just gonna stand here. We're gonna chill. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> no, okay. I'll tell you a story. What do you think? We think of a nice story. If you stay in that platform, I'll tell you a nice story. <laughs> think of my story here. Oh, okay. I was at work. Oh, never mind. Gotta stay in the platform for the story. Okay. Yeah, I was at work. I'll tell the story anyway. I, okay, I was, I was at work today, and some and a cu old customer. She's like an old lady. She asked for a slice of watermelon. We sell watermelon by halves, halves and quarters. She asked for a, a, a one slice of watermelon. I'm like, are you kidding me? These, these old people, they can't eat. You know what I mean? These old people, they can't, they, they can't eat like a, a large quantity. So they want, she wanted to eat a slice of watermelon. Why can't you buy a quarter of watermelon and cut it up? You get home. Oh, here we It's a rest. Tim just needs a lead. And we're, you know, we're okay. Just needs the lead. And he can get it right there. Just. Yeah, my God. The way he plays this match, of, I don't know, man. Grab a ledge. That's fine. We got time for plenty of stories because this set's never gonna end. Tim gets a lead for once. I guess the circle camp thing's working out, but I don't know what he's gonna do game, game four if he goes Yoshi's or something. Maybe go Fox, I, I, I suggest. This is not gonna end well. Alright, here's this. Alright, we'll do another story time. Let me think, let me think. Alright, so, the, so there's the heat wave, right? Yesterday? And then these, and then all the customers that come to my dad's dad's place, they get all, they get like petty and they get nasty because it's a heat wave. And they're like, they're like, I want service now and this and that. I'm like, chill, I'm helping someone else, you know. Oh I man, these customers are a pain where I work. That's why I love coming here to get away from that. 
No one's a pain over here. No customers from where I work come here. I don't think. Right, Tim's camping is working out. Am I playing JLo or something if I lose? Am I playing JLo if I lose? Wait, who am I playing projected to play in losers? That's what I mean. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll play jail probably and losers. I know some. I know some of my friends were happy about that. You know who you are. <laughs> I used to. I used to lose jail like all the time. But now, now I've been beating him lately. But I don't know. I always get nervous against him. It's Yoshi. Yoshi's parry gets me nervous. You know. All right, there we go. We got killed with Sopo. No wobble. Tim can make this comeback, but it's going to take 45 minutes. My set at least would be nice and fast. <laughs> oh, come on. He, he, he's going to get the wobble. Wobble into timeout. I wish I could read the chat right now. My phone, my my, their Wi-Fi is not working, so blame them. I can't read the chat. <laughs> Who's typing? Oh, bunch of people in the chat. Oh boy, They're like get this guy, get this guy out of here. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is height wobble. This is height. All right, all right. We got even game. Oh, he almost died for that. Oh, what's up, Havoc? What's up, boy? Oh, man. What's up? What you said? Yeah, it's a long one. <laughs> Maybe like a faster set. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even here. For the sake of entertainment, hope two can't take this, but you know, we'll see. And I'm next probably on stream, I'm, I'm gonna get bopped. Like Peacecraft, he came and fit to defend the Nords for melee. I mean, I could try. I made a bet with someone, I gotta win this tournament, which is not gonna happen, but you know, what I'm Peacecraft be limp. Oh, here we go. Alright, this is it. <laughs> Alright, we're wobbling, we're wobbling. Oh, if you guys... As you guys know... I'm only good at one matchup in this game, Ice Climbers, but I never get to play Ice Climbers, so... You know, that's too bad. <laughs> I suck against Falco, Falcon, Puff... Oh, that's it, yep. <laughs> Alright. Should've went Fox, but that's okay. <laughs> Should've went Fox! Should've went Fox. <laughs> That's it. Tim will come back and lose her strong and probably beat me, but you know, we'll see. All right, I'm next. Wish me luck, boys. My God, this is try my best. All right, peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's flexing. Woo! <laughs> All right, we got Peacecraft versus Big Buffalo. Peacecraft, um, for those of you who don't know, is actually Swift Base. Um, he, he used to go by that. 
Uh, he changed his tag a few times to uh, Phantom Renegade and now to Peacecraft. Um, so if I call him Swift, I'm talking about Peacecraft. It's just a habit of mine because I knew him when he was Swift. Um, and he's going against Big Buffalo. Um, Big Buffalo, really good Fox player. Um, known as an Icy Slayer. I mean, he considers himself average against everyone else. Anyway, game one, going to uh, Battlefield. Oh, excuse me. I'm burping up. Mm. Peace Grab is going to trademark um, Fox. I mean, not Fox, Mark. All right, he's offset. Very good edge guarding, but he gets back on. Unfortunately, um, Carl is sitting at a decent amount of percent, but he's starting to come back a little bit. Peacecraft is known for being play, having a very patient, patient playstyle. Not so much uh, campy, but very patient. Like if you, uh, he's one of those players where if you make one mistake, he will capitalize on it hard. So um, he is up one sock. All right, looks like Carl is going. For, oh, very nice double shine by Carl right there to get the stock. We have an almost even game. So, um, Big Buffalo has kind of an aggressive style. I, I'd say it's like in between defensive and aggressive. Um, he needs to bait out what Peacecraft is going to do. Oof, that combo hurt right there. And he's off stage. Very good uh, winning um, fade back to avoid the forward smash. That Nair is going to send him off stage. That, mouse, like, that will be the stock. Oh, I hear someone playing Ice Climbers in Ultimate. Whoever they are, they're awesome. Good storm by Carl. Oh, the forward air to avoid the spike. All right, the SD, that well worth it. The uh, self-destruct uh, dare right there. Very good stuff from Peacecraft, knowing that you would still be up a stock. Not the smart SD. For suicide, I should say. Oh man, Peacecraft's just so good at the edge. Good dare to take it. Peacecraft takes it for the first takes the first game. Now it's uh, Big Buffalo's counter pick. Um, now this is a tricky counter pick for Big Buffalo. I would either go to Dreamland or Pokemon. Both are good stages for Fox. I would not take him to um, Yoshi's. And it looks like Peacecraft is going to make the switch to Captain Falcon. And yes, Big Buffalo does go to um, Dreamland. Um, it's a very smart switch for Peacecraft. Um, Peacecraft does have a pocket Falcon, and it's actually a pretty good Falcon. Yeah, uh, Dreamland is considered by many to be uh, Mark's worst stage. So I could see why he went Falcon. Unfortunately, he does get shi double shined off the edge by a Big Buffalo. Ooh, the elbow adjust is coming out. Then there's the backer. That's going to be the stock. We have a dead even game. Good near to grab. Ooh, he's got some really good start, but he gets clipped by the side B. Neutral get up. Uh, good shine to get out uh, to punish the grab. The grab wouldn't have hit either way because uh, Boss was by him. The wave shine's coming out from Big Buffalo. He is turning up, but so is Big Craft with these up airs. Here comes a combo from Carl. Oh, oh, he didn't get a good punish on that. Oh, the back air. Good DI from Big Buffalo, though. But the back air, but he goes out there and he gets clipped by back air. Alright, this is still pretty doable for Bug Buffalo and Peacecraft. Oh, the shine pressure from Big Buffalo coming out. He goes for the hail. He goes for the up smash, thinking he could clip it, but he he doesn't shield poke. I don't know if up air would be enough to kill Falcon at this uh, on this stage at that percent. Now it probably will take it. Oh, good um, good tomahawk by Peacecraft right there. All right, that's an easy edge guard. Uh, Peacecraft did do 72% to Big Buffalo though, so he got a good amount of extra credit. It won't it'll take one. Maybe one combo to uh, finish off the stock. Oh, the back here's not going to connect. Good wall jump from Big Buffalo to stall out in the air. Oh, ooh, very clutch by Big Buffalo. Unfortunately, Peace Crab does get back to the stage, but Big Buffalo is bringing this back. He is not out of this. 
the down tilt. Good shine. I love how Big Buffalo loves to wait out what his opponent's going to do, and he, then he capitalizes on it. That was a very good example right there. But that knee's going to take it. Dead even game going to last stock. Game number two. It's still best three out of five, though. So uh, no, no players out on this game. Here come the up airs from Big Buffalo, though. Peacecraft sitting at 79%. The shine pressure. Oh, ho, ho, he's in trouble now. The down smash is going to miss, but there's no punish. Look at this pressure from Big Buffalo. He's all over Peacecraft right now. Peacecraft is struggling to win neutral. Oh, but he gets stuck in shine. But the up smash. Great DI from Peacecraft. He's staying alive. I would sing like the BGs, but I would make all your ears bleed. I can't sing that high. Oh, look at this. See what I'm saying? Big Buffalo loves to wait out these options. He loves to do these double jumps to bait out an option. Oh, but the knee misses! And Peacecraft gets clipped, and Big Buffalo takes game number two. That was some really good stuff from both players on that. Going down to the wire. We're going to game three. Let's see where Peacecraft is going to counter pick to. And he's going back to Marth. And we're going back to Dreamland. Very interesting pick from Peacecraft. Oh, maybe not. I think he may have. I maybe he picked the wrong stage. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he wanted FD. All right, very good. All right, this is, Mark definitely um, fa is in favor in on this stage. We've seen time and time again from pros such as Mewtwo King. Mars chain grabs on Faces are really good on this stage. There's basically no escape. Oh, here come the juggles. Oh, Big Buffalo is over 100% already. 20 seconds in. Oh, he gets clipped at the edge with forward air. That could be the stock. No, he's going to get back, but the, fa but the forward smash is going to delete that stock and send him to the Shadow Realm. Oh, but, Big but Peacecraft's in a tough spot, but he misses the shine! The counter! Oh, no! Oh, an edge of give attempt turned south very fast right there. Peacecraft, like I said, if you mess up one time against him, he will capitalize and destroy you completely. That's his patient playstyle coming in clutch right there. Here come the chain grabs right now. Carl is off stage, goes for the counter, does not get hit. He sh I think he should have went for down air right there. But Peacecraft is in total control of this game right now. Back air is going to take him off the stage. Oh, Carl's in a bad spot. All right, both players are able to make it back. Good dare. Oh, ho, ho, he gets clipped while he's off stage. Potential four stock alert for Peacecraft. Okay, that shine is going to take it. So no four stock for Peacecraft. But he's definitely in control of this game. Goes for the four smash. But he crouch cancel grabs that fox that uh, fox neutral win well, and takes the neutral win for himself. All right, the get up attack is going to get punished. I don't know what that shine was, but it worked out. All right. But, but Big Buffalo was in, is in control of the neutral right now. Off smash will clip it. All right. He's got two stocks to take. He's sitting at, at 59%, so this is still doable, but it's very hard. Oh, here come the juggles. That's a Ken combo right there. Peacecraft going to close out game number three. What a very nice honor to the king of smash. Shoutouts to Liquid Ken. I think he's still sponsored by Liquid anyway, Team Liquid. I want to play Ken one day. I want to play the King of Smash. I'm sure a lot of people do. Okay, so Big Buffalo got an important decision to make. He's on his winner's tournament, winner's uh, life right now. And he's going to Yoshi's Story. This is a controversial pick. He gets hit by a tipper S Smash straight away. But he's not taking too much pain from it. Here come the up air juggles. Three up airs. Can he get a fourth? No. Up air, double up, I mean double up tilt. Shield drop air, not going to connect. The back air is going to connect. Here's the shine, but he unfortunately goes the wrong way. The counter is going to send him off stage. He goes deep, but Carl is, uh, is, is one step ahead of Peacecraft right there. Oh, man, this is like a DBZ episode. Air battles, baby. Very good air battle right there, and both players are surviving. Oh, the dare. Very clutch from Peacecraft. Side beat the dare, but he SDs, and he has to smile about it. Okay, this is looking really good. I'm loving this game so far. Oh, the up air. I mean, the up, the up smash right there coming up from Marth. Oh, another up smash. He gets the weak hit. Here come the juggles. Buffalo sitting at 101. Shines to get out. Very smart. Although he's one tipper F smash away from losing his stock. And Swift is only sitting at 16. 
All right, good stall right there here. He's going to relax on Randall for a quick sec. Side B's off of Randall right there. This is going to be... Oh, the counter doesn't connect. Interesting. I know Marv's counter has a pretty short um, window. I mean, counters weren't really that good in this game, and uh, I believe Marth and uh, Roy are the only two characters that have a counter in this game, unlike in future games where literally almost every sword character has a counter. All right, up air is going to take it. Big Buffalo down in stock, and uh, Big Buff and Peace sitting at 35% right now. S Smash not going to connect. He rolls out of it. All right, good neutral play from both players. Up Smash not going to kill at this percent. Next one will do. Will do though. All right, good jump from Big Buffalo with the back air. Good up air. That's going to take the stock, and Big Buffalo is back in this. Two stocks apiece. Big Buffalo had a 71% differential. He definitely can come back from this. And he's sitting on the edge right now. And he's off stage. Oh, this is bad for Big Buff. All right, good recovering high. But he's in a juggle right now. Good shine to get out of that. Big Buffalo is really smart with those with those shines. This, oh, he goes for, I respect the attempt. But unfortunately, he got the wrong angle. He's sitting on his tournament life right now. Big Buffalo needs a miracle right now to come back. It's still doable. That fair is going to keep him off stage. Oh, and Peacecraft is just running away with this right now. Here come the tech chases. Good down smash right there to knock him up. Sitting at 84%. Big Buffalo, can you bring this back? That neutral B is going to send him off stage. That's going to... Ooh, he gets back on. Second life right there, sitting at 123. Here comes the back air. All right, he's off stage. S smash is going to take it. Big Buffalo not in the losers by Peacecraft. Very good set from both players, though. That was some very good footsies from both players. With the air value. I was... I will admit, I loved watching that. All right, looks like um, we got another match coming up right now on stream. We got JLO versus Big Buffalo. Big Buffalo, despite being not in the losers, is going to stay on stream for a little bit. And I'm staying on the commentary for you guys. Toucan coming to you live from um, Smashed Out here in New Rochelle, New York. So we got JLL versus Big Buffalo. JLO being a very rare Yoshi main with Big Buffalo, obviously, with going with the Fox. I want to see how these two are going to play out. I think these two have, put, have played before in the past. I don't know um, their set history, but... These two are about the same in terms of skill level. I'd say JLO may have a slight edge in terms of skill level, but this is still going to be a good match. Game one, going to Yoshi's story, loser's core final. I think this is still best out of five. Yep, still best out of five. Here at Encore, we do uh, loser's quarters, uh, best of five. Big Buffalo, quick SD. JLO is going to be up uh, really quick. Very nice uh, tail whip combo right there. Here come the up tilt combos. The jab reset to grab. Here come the up airs, double up air. Tries to go for the up smash, but he's a little bit too high. And uh, Big Buffalo is already sitting at 100%. That down smash is probably going to take it, but Randall is there. That Nair will take it, though. <coughs> Just a little over 30 seconds in. JLO is up two stocks. Oh, the egg roll. I'm pretty sure that was a missed input right there, and he does get punished right there. Yoshi's egg roll is pretty much what regards his worst move. It has never been a good move in the history of Smash. Like... If you use it, it's usually a missed input, or, or that, or the opponent doesn't know what they're doing. Hear that? They're going for some weird-ass punish that I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's a use for it out there. Yoshi means lab it. I know you could do it. All right, good reverse neutral air. Yoshi, a very technical character with his uh, double jump cancels and his double jump reverses. I actually, is that a thing double jump reverse? I don't know. All right, but um, potential three stock for JLO right now. Up smash not gonna connect, he's a little bit too high. Yoshi's not a fast faller, so um, those combos are not gonna connect as well. Those kinds of combos anyway. Oh, he goes for the gimp, but JLO, SDs. All right, he's got, still got two stocks to, p to uh, play around with. You can go for that, this can stay in the game. I'm usually a very careful kind of player, but, um... Because as I see, you never want to take any stock for granted, because Nana can be a dumb shit. Nana can be a dumb sack of bricks. But JLO going out there, 
trying to get some cool gimps. Up smash, not gonna take it. He still has his double jump, so he's gonna get back. And this is one nair away from uh, being JLO's game. Good parry nair, right as I call it. JLO seals it out with the nair, and he's up one game to nothing. Now we're going to FD for game number two. Not considered a good stage for Yoshi, so I definitely agree with uh, Big Buffalo's counter pick on this. Yoshi does not have that many, uh, does not have any platforms to uh, play around on the stage, so his double jump sh cancel shenanigans are going to be very limited here. Uh, the double jump armor though is going to save him from that up air though. All right, good tomahawk right there from Big Buffalo though. Down tilt, up air not gonna, is gonna miss, but that up air will take it. Oh, the shine, but he gets back to the ledge. Good back air right there, goes for the fair, not gonna take it. There will take it though. Ooh, a shine clanking with a shine. Yes, for those of you who do not know, um, Yoshi's down tilt is considered to be a mini shine in the sense that it has set knockback. It doesn't come out in frame one. It comes out fast, but not frame one. But um, like shine, it's a uh, it has set knockback, so it can set up into some shenanigans. Especially in the Ice Climbers matchup, it can be used to kill Nana pretty early. In my opinion, Yoshi is one of the better Nana killers out there. Probably, probably one of the best. Maybe top three. All this pressure from Big Buffalo, JLO can't capitalize and, w and get out of the neutral right now. Oh, that was a missed input right there. I heard the egg roll come out. JLO is probably going for something else. Egg not going to connect, but he's ready for the side B. Up smash is going to get shielded. Yoshi also, for if you do not know, is the only character in the game who cannot jump out of shield. It's a bit of a trade-off for having a wonky shield. He can't, starting at Smash 4, he can, but he uh, cannot in this game, which is kind of a big deal. If he could jump out of shield, he'd probably be a lot more broken than he is now. I mean, I, Yoshi is a good character. I'm not sure if I would call him broken. I mean, let's face it, every char a lot of characters in this game are broken. Now he's going for the egg lay, does not connect. Looks like Big Buffalo is about to wrap this one up. Oh, oh, he goes for the cheeky egg lay to push off. Although uh, Big Buffalo is going to get out of that. I believe the more percent you have, the the harder it is to mash out. I could be wrong. It, it, it's weird. That up smash is going to take it. Okay, tie game. It's interesting to me that they went to Yoshi's game one because I honestly consider Yoshi to, Yoshi's to be Yoshi's best stage. Not just because it's home field advantage, but um, it's just a really good uh, platform stage for him. So I'm really surprised they went there first. But we are going to Fountain for uh, game number three, it looks like. Um, similar to Yoshi's, this, is a, this sounds like a good Yoshi stage, although it can screw him over a little bit due to the RNG with the platforms. Oh, this is stuck. So I see what Big Buffalo is trying to do right now. He wants to get um, Big Buffalo in his shield as much as possible because Yoshi, while he's in shield, is not as good as the other characters. He, like I said earlier, he can't jump out, and his only option out of shield is grab, which is a, and Yoshi has a very bad grab, so um, he really can't do much. So once he's in shield, he's basically stuck, like almost like N64, uh, like N64 characters. But the homie stuck coming out from Big Buffalo after the SD from JLO. Very interesting. I'm not really one to do for homie stocks. Like, you can homie stock me, but I'm not going to homie stock you just because I want to win. But, um, not to be a jerk, but I just want to win. Um, all right, but it looks like, um, JLo's trying to come back a little bit with some of these, um, combos right there. So, JLo needs to keep up the offensive if he wants to. He can't really play defensive in shield because once he's in shield, Big Buffalo can just uh, go all over them with these dare shines, the dare shines. And there's really not much Yoshi could do about it because he can't jump out of shield or anything, or grab. His only hope is if he gets stuck in shine, which is not very often. And Big Buffalo has shown that he is a very technical fox. All right. 
Okay, so the near missing, and then he just gets up smashed. JLO with the laugh. Oh, very nice parry, but unfortunately he doesn't land on stage. That is a three star for Big Buffalo. We're going to game four. So, um, I think they said they wanted to go Battlefield. Oh no, I think we're going back to Yoshi's. And we are going back to uh, Fountain for game number four. What's up? Doing pretty good, how about you? All right, so it's your boy, Zalos. Oh my god, uh, the rain today is atrocious. Oh well. yeah, it has I, been. I, as soon as I got off of work, it started downpouring. See, so so the streets look like how Fountain of Dreams looks right now. <laughs> Not, that, that, that's how bad my sh the street that I was on was. Wow. Yeah, like like the, the, the city of Amandic really doesn't open up the floodgates it's until like later, until like, it's just really later on. Wow. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Did you see that? I think that, that clanked. Was, yeah, it clanked, but it went through and it still hit. That, uh, okay, that's pretty dumb. That's pretty fucking dumb. Well, you know what's dumber? What? Uh, when you double jump and it clanks every hit. <laughs> Your double oh, jump yeah. clanks everything. Oh, yeah. There All right. Go. Very good dare. Uh, very, I mean, not dare. Fair from uh, JLO right yeah, there. Yeah, that, that just, that girl was just really clean. Oh, oh. that was interesting right there. Wow. I mean, you're, you gotta love that egg. Yeah. Eggs are good for you. Oh, they're really good for JLo here. Oh, yes. Very good for JLo. Oh, another up there? Oh, no. So it just misses. He went for it, though. Yeah, they, oh, that's all that matters. All right. Osmash so. not going to take it. Next one probably will. Yoshi is a heavy character. Very heavy, actually. So, d despite his looks. He's like. So nice, nice shine. Okay, that actually caught his jump. Yes, very nice. So. What do you think of this matchup so far? Um, Big Buffalo has been putting a lot of pressure on JLO while he's in shield. I was just saying last game, JLO wants to spend as little time in shield as possible because Yoshi has horrible out shield options. He can't jump, he can only roll, spot dodge, or grab, and he has a horrible grab. Or, if he's on a platform, he can shoot that. Oh yeah. But he, but he's getting caught on the main platform, so. All right. No. Oh, very good. Snipe. Snipe. Nice. Damn. Way to yeah, go, Jello. I didn't, I didn't even. I, I couldn't even see him. I was like, oh, well, I mean, he's not gonna. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that was almost a shield break. Yeah. Jello was really scared there. All right. All right so the back air is gonna seal it out. No, he has oh, a double jump. Has, and he, oh, he almost did the shine. Any extra, extra percent? Oh, oh no, no. Wait, how did that star not hit? And Jello is laughing. All right, tournament. I mean, not tournament. Yeah, tournament stop for JLO right now. So Let's see. Buffalo, this is just like okay. I can. I. I rather not afford to lose this, but I can. That's gonna be but this that's game. It, that's, that's game. We are going to game five. Good job to JLO clutching that out. And their both players are having a oh, good time. Oh, JLO, sick edge guard. Good snipe, JLO. Yeah, that was a sick snipe. Yeah. Yeah, we're totally not biased. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to stadium for game number five. Let's see who's gonna Big take Big Buffalo, it. I also like your blip blips. Yeah, very good shield pressure on Big Buffalo. Alright, we should shut up and have yeah, concentrate. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of up airs from here. Oh, that, that would have been a really good conversion there. That yeah. down smash, I, I think if like, maybe Big Buffalo uh, didn't just like, immediately jump out of it, would have hit. That was a very nice, um, he got all three hits of the back air to uh, Nair. Nice patience waiting for that hit to come out. All right, Jalo yeah. kind of just like yeah. trying to get by. Oh, that's stage. tough, and that's really tough. Yeah, Big Buffalo sitting out with an up air. Oh, that's a dash second top air, right? Yeah, I think so. That's a classic setup for almost a lot of faces. Pretty much. He's stuck on the platform. Up. Oh, Nair's gonna get him off him though. All right. Ooh, I thought that was an air. I thought that was an SD right there. Jalo last game capitalized a lot on his edge guards, and a lot of things going on here isn't really working out for him. Yeah, he has to get Fox off stage. Okay, then Nair will do it. Yeah. Alright, so he's in a decent position, only at 49%. Uh, the hashtag, but this is gonna reset up for anything. Alright, honestly, like, the oh, pressure. Ooh. That was dirty! Oh, that was dirty! That was dirty. Yo, I, I'm pretty sure Buffalo kind of, like, maybe missed the. That. that, that uh, Whoa! Oh. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I agree, what the fuck was that? I think, okay, so, since, like,. Since like uh, J Lo has as Jello's grab kind of like pulls them forward, it doesn't just like teleport them to the hand. It like pulls them in. Yeah. Uh, it it stopped Buffalo from going in because of that lip. 
So oh, he yeah. made like stop him from moving towards Shayla. That's right. Okay, yeah. so that so there was probably the lip that did. I thought it clanked when it attacked, no, but I was like, no. the Yoshi's tongue can't clank. The lip, the lip was, was the culprit there. All right, Ooh. so Let's, that was a tough spot. All right, if one misses, the second one's gonna hit. All right, this is tournament life for JLO right now. Nice it's up there. go time. Oh, this is looking pretty rough right now. Oh, okay. Shank could have actually done it there. Very good shield drop up air right there. The egg clanks. Okay, let's try to get back on stage. Okay. Right, that was that was a good punish from Buff Big Buffalo. A good old smash actually racks significant percent. Uh, I don't agree with him running out of shield like that. That could come back to bite him. Good near. Big Buffalo really that actually just still can come back. He can still actually come back. Oh no, he lets him back! This is a bad spot for JLO. Yeah, he's at one on twelve percent. Yeah. That's it. I think he caught his double jump. He did. And Big Buffalo advances to the loser semifinal. Very close game, though. Who's, who's in brackets, though? Um, Peacecraft. Oh, I got to face. And me. I got to face uh, Peacecraft now, so. Let's All right, see. got him. Yeah, I know. It's winner's final, so I, I don't assume that people are going to be. Many people are going to be uh, still playing. All right. So, so time on the mic. Uh, Peacecraft. I haven't really seen Peacecraft play. What does he play? Peacecraft. Do you know what he plays? Marth. All right. So it's gonna be Marth Ices. Uh, I I I know for a fact that some Ice Hammers really detest the matchup because of the length of uh, Marth's sword and the spacing that he can get off of much, a lot of his uh, aerials and all that jazz. But I think Icy still has something called a grab. I think he can still win. Let's, let's see what happens. Do you know what what uh what seat Peacecraft is right now? Yeah. See. Oh, he's first seed. Okay. Okay. Really? Interesting. So he got f so Peacecraft got fifth up DTN. Congrats to him. Top 8. Uh what place do, do what, what what's two can't seed it two? All right, so his first seed versus second seed. I think this this. Okay, got it. So uh, we're just waiting for a bit. Um. Okay, so so def uh, currently defending north has uh, yeah. Uh, so on Korea Sports we have Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, the twenty seventh of April we have uh S I G D the uh August tenth. And Tekken 7, Fader Retribution, uh, Street Fighter Arcade Edition on August 10th. We have uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on August uh, 17th. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 at 8 at uh, August 24th. And we have Super Smash Bros. Melee on August uh, 31st. There we go. Are these all, like, uh, the monthlies? Yeah, these are all monthlies for their respective games. Uh, of course, I'm pretty sure a lot of the Smash Ultimate Tournament is going to be the big one. Um, and MK is big, yeah. MK is also gonna be very big. So if you're if you're an MK player and you're trying to get into the scene, I think this would be a great place to start. Um, and of course, if you play any of the other games, it it's also a pretty good start there. You get to meet and play like different different players, you know, from different areas of uh, Westchester. Um, and sometimes the city too. See, so the city often they just come up real, real quick just to like play. Uh, friendlies or just playing tournaments. Uh, so let's see. Toucan vs. Peacecraft. Uh, they, of course, they banned uh, FD and uh, Found of Dreams because, let's see, I believe those are favorable more for Toucan than Peacecraft at the moment. And I think this is. Uh, it's going to Falcon. It's going to Falcon. Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing he's, he's not confident with his mark, but we'll see. Oh, okay. Oh, he get okay. Got him. Okay, so grab from Nana. Oh, re grab and go into oh the mash. That's actually an amazing mash. Oh, I just noticed that he's playing on the smash stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash stick. Yeah, that's. Oh, there we go. Trying to save Nana. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that was smart. That was smart. Save Nana from Falco Punch by up being again. Let's see. So now Peacecraft trying to get anything on uh, Toucan before he gets grabbed. Uh, getting Nana off stage right now, and Toucan trying to go up to actually save her. Uh, I think he might actually work, but uh, he misses out the Falco Punch for Nana. Uh, gets knocked close to the stage, close to off stage, and uh, 
trying to get back on stage safely without anything really bad happening to him. Uh, Toucan are kind of controlling center stage right now, which is... Oh, there we go. That's the first wobble of the day. There we go. Of the game. I wish we had a skill cam to see, like, Toucan's like, fingers. Like, Oh yeah, our, our priest car smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His smash was insane. That was nuts. Um, okay, so as right now, Peace Crab's kind of like we're getting more center stage, as you can tell here. So a lot of platforms is good because it's it's what two can really can't do much on the platforms, uh, especially on Dreamland. There we go. See, it's still it's still kind of like even. The neutral right here is gonna kind of a little bit. Oh, oh, nice smash! Yo, these smashes are sick. All right, well, I know the box, man. The box is so good for these. All right, so just kind of grab ledge or uh, actually scares him off. So Toucan kind of uh, drifting back a little bit too much. Uh, Peacecraft still getting center stage right now. Trying to go after Nana most of the time. Uh, he understands that, of course, Nana is like a very big, uh, I guess, win condition for uh, Toucan uh, in most, uh, spring, uh, most of the stuff. Let's see, so as of right now, kind of just scrambling back and forth, uh, getting the jab, but not getting a grab off of it, uh, getting back on the stage, but kind of barely getting any leverage, there's a Toucan still controlling center stage dominantly, but Peacecraft saying, no, Nana, don't get near me, your man is mine, alright, the up airs, okay, up airs connecting, a uh, back air doesn't connect, but of course, he still has a lot of priority right now. Alright, so knee connecting, sending Toucan off stage. Uh, is this guard? Oh no! Gets pushed off. Oh, okay, so that was that was a very quick uh, ledge dash into, uh, sorry, uh, wave land into just a back. Saw a back. So is this gonna be a. Uh, okay, no, never mind. Let's back on stage. Toucan right now, very dangerous situation, but kinda let's, let's start go from my knee. Peacecraft still kind of like. Still kind of keeping it even, so it's really nice to see this. Uh, again, going after the Nana mostly. Uh, getting up air to back air, but still make it back on stage. Uh, Toucan getting a grab off of this, but does. Ooh, reads the roll in and just gets an immediate grab off of it. Peacecraft kind of just uh, waiting for it. Alright, up smash coming from uh, two cans to seal the stock. Uh, right now, this is actually very. Uh, this is. Not, not in the, not in uh, Peacecraft's best favor, but if he can keep Toucan from saving Nana, that's that's perfect condition for him. Um, kind of just needs to keep uh, Popo from planning any extra damage, or actually damage in this case, I guess wouldn't matter. If, uh, extra extra damage. I mean. So Toucan kind of getting a, a tech, but roll off into a down air, and ended up SD because of it. Um, Peacecraft still maintaining center stage as it's moment. Uh, Toucan trying to find a way in. Uh, down smash is connecting, but really can't do anything about it because it sends him too, too far horizontally. Um, Toucan just spamming down at this point. Uh, down B, standard. Um, all Peacecraft really needs is one good separation from uh, Nan and Popo, and he can, I'm pretty sure he can solidly take Nana's, Nana's life. Uh, Toucan still saying, no, you're not touching my girl. No. Trying to trying to save right each situation. Oh, that out bear might kill her. Yeah, it does. All right, so right now Toucan in a very very undesirable situation right now. We're losing Nana and actually losing uh, one of his biggest uh, chances, uh, win conditions. In the game. And uh, Peacecraft, even though Peacecraft being like a little bit up on percent, still uh, still playing really aggressively. Toucan kind of just needs to get a solid edge guard off of this, and uh, he can probably make this make this work and win win this set. With this, uh, in this game, but Peacecraft saying, No, I'm not gonna let you get me off stage. Uh, back air misses. Nice fast fall from Toucan. Obviously, and Peacecraft right now get, setting up for. Oh, there it is. A down throw to knee to seal off that last stop, and Peacecraft up 1 0 over Toucan. Um, Toucan might go FD, yeah. Uh, I would assume FD. FD is a very, a very good stage for uh, for most ice climbers, of course. Um, I, I think this this might be more favorable to Fox in some situations because of the, like the flatness of the stage and the fact that you can you can just kind of like edge guard Nana very easily on the stage. Um, but Peacecraft kind of just still trying to separate Nana. Yeah, like this. See, he's just, he's like just straight up tunnel visioning Nana. 
there's uh, really just a lot of neutral going on from Peace Winfrey. Man. He's just kind of maintaining center stage. Winning all these neutral trades. And Duke can't get his first grab. But no Nan is actually still off the stock. Right now, Peacecraft actually putting up a lot of a lot of damage, a lot of random percent here and there. He's really converting off of most of his grabs. Nice down smash. It's obviously going to connect. Uh, Toucan really has nowhere to go at that point. Uh, there's a grab. Is there another one? Okay. He can wait for the roll. He can just... Okay, yeah. Oh, misses it. Oh, but still gets back. And the Nana hitbox actually hits Peacecraft from that. That was a strange hitbox, but I mean, I'm not going to connect. So it's, it's melee. Alright, down there. I was, I was looking for a knee for, uh, to get rid of Nana Slap. Alright, up there. To back there. Alright, this might be it. This, if, if 2K can escort this, can actually. Oh, oh, kind of misses it. I don't know what that roll was. I think I might have been a missing one. A down smash there could have actually sealed off that stop 100%. Uh, nice fast fall into the legs of Beastcraft right now and uh, trying to focus on Nana again, but kind of gets back hit by Pogo because of it. Uh, nice punish, but no but no solid edge guard. Oh, that was a nice, uh, nice drift. Beastcraft right now actually doing a lot, making a lot of good decisions. Uh, it's kind of countering with two cans. Uh, but that four smash is gonna connect and actually gonna take Peacecraft stock. Um, he has 62 extra percent on Popo right now, which is very, uh, is very important right now. And gets actually gets the the Falcon points that he's been looking for twice uh, the game before. All right, he can saw saw back air or saw grab and like oh work this. So Peacecraft right now actually up one stock against uh, two can. Alright, so another back air. Another knee. Alright. So like I said before, like he's Okay, so he switched he switched targets. Ooh! Up air, up air, up air, knee. Hard knee. Damn. Alright, uh side B a little bit questionable. Uh kind of yeah. Just decides that he's he no longer needs that stuff. There's uh there was really no need to try to come back. Uh Toucan right now just uh trying to get any actually trying to get any conversion off of to to go into a grab. So good back airs, good spacing from Peacecraft. And up air is uh, up smash is gonna seal it out, getting a rebound off that, and just kind of just now it's just waiting. All right, an up smash, a standard up smash from Toucan. Now it's basically stock to stock, practically zero right now. Uh, all right, trying to focus again on Nana. Uh, ooh, okay, this is this is weird. This is new. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was that was that was pretty funny. Uh, okay, this this is what I mean by FD can be a really good stage. Uh, so a lot of the times that like, you can get uh, re grabs off of like dash tag and off dash tag or whatever. You can you can combo dash tag and dash tag for Okay, so two can right now going to Sopo. He can definitely bring this back. And so can uh, Peacecraft can also seal out the stock. Okay, down smash from there could have killed. Uh, but kind of gets hit by that up B from Peacecraft. Falcon right now is kind of like waiting for a back air. Saw a back air, saw it hit, can actually seal the stock. Same from Toucan. Another down smash can actually seal it out as well. Alright, so as of right now, they're kind of just dancing. I'm trying to get a solid hit. Alright, Toucan getting down throw to need. That was probably like, uh, that was a good DI reach from Peacecraft. Um, so Peacecraft getting again a one more game on Toucan, making it 2-0. Man, I'm thinking about not me, Peacecraft. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. By the way, was this guy was this guy named Swift before? He Swift, Swift base. There we go. That that's that, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I remember one time I played him, and I was like, I was playing Falco, and now it was like, uh, it was actually it was like, um, probably like five months going and playing into melee, and it was, it was a fun experience. All right, so this is an interesting matchup: Doctor Mario against Ice Climbers. Uh, down smash, I think, is a good way to separate them, but of course, like you have like your aerials, your forward air, a lot of aerials that help out. So the first, second wobble, or is it third? Was that the third wobble of the day? That was, right? Or the set, right? Oh, no. 
did he re Oh, that's that's demoralizing. Did Tim like just leave right after? He was he was he was sad. He was sad boy. Okay. I understand. I, I, I feel that. Um but anyways, uh okay, I, I I was talking too much and I didn't see how that how that last stock went off, but I mean uh good good stuff from Peace Crab right now. Ooh, okay. Okay, I kind of stood there like uh, menacingly and was like, alright, let me just take this to the face. Alright, nice down smash coming from Toucan. I separate them but can't get the edge guard. Uh, barely missing that down smash because that a little more time I could have hit behind him. I'm trying to get a solid hit from either one of these characters right now. They're both really just slippery. But of course, Toucan has the less superior uh, projectile at this moment. Peacecraft can actually just like kind of wait him out maybe. Uh, a down smash into a forward air. Uh, I think that's true, I believe. And uh, seals that stock out. So, uh, nice uh, ball dodge from Peacecraft. Oh, and another ball coming from two hands. Gonna even it out. Just 8% 8 extra credit, not too much. I think I think one big one big issue with uh with uh Toucan sometimes is just that he when he when the separation happens between him and Nan like it's he really prioritizes a lot. Uh, prioritizes it a lot. And it's uh it's it's really it shows in a lot of his gameplay. And that's not wrong of course, but there are some situations where that's not exactly the correct decision to make. Uh Peacecraft trying to get something off of that uh that hit by back airing Nana. Alright. A lot of neutral just just projectiles. Okay, there we go. Oh, it mashes out. The sick mash again. Alright, gets the forward smash for Tsukonana and another forward smash. Oh, no, down smash. Oh, but that doesn't really connect. Two can counters back and lands on ledge. Oh, nice jab, down smash. Another down smash can seal the Yep, there it is. So, right now, two can on his tournament stock right now. Not tournament stock, or uh, his winner stock. Uh, he, of course, has a chance to come back into grand final for this. Uh, again, another grab and the fifth wobble of the, of the set. Or sixth. Actually, I lost track. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. You never really get to hear like Mario too much. So I think it's, 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 it's an interesting sound to hear. Alright, so now the new truck changes. Of course, Peace Crab having the superior... Uh, Still the superior uh, projectile right now. Alright. Peacecraft ex just respecting the fact that Toucan can easily just uh, take a stock at this moment. There's a lot of respect going on. The down smash kind of like destroying the shield. Ooh! Okay, so that, that's a very small shield. I don't think, I don't think Toucan can afford a shield any stronger. Ooh! Okay, hold on. Okay. This is where everything kind of... Okay, there we go. That, that, that's a rough place to be in, especially. Against, uh, against the Ice Timers is when uh, one of them gets shield broken. You kind of have to either settle for a really small hit or uh, try to go in for a big hit at the risk of getting hit by Nana. Oh, nice down smash, getting separating them both. But uh, this this will definitely be a uh, Nana stop. Nana dies, and of course Toucan getting hit by the classic down uh, down throw to forward air. All right, so big buffalo and concussed. What was his name before this? How many names has he had so far, Tim? And then he now he's concussed. Interesting. It's really interesting. All right, so big buffalo concussed. I know they're really good friends and they play a lot. I know big buffalo. This this is this is definitely not the first time you guys have played. All right, Ryan.